be careful because if we end up seeking, we might have good intentions and we've seen it time and time again throughout history of people who started something and then it ended up being a program and then other people started to follow, follow the program and the, and the outline instead of following Jesus Christ. And the more we follow the outline and the program, which is heavily influenced by the world, because then we look and we start saying, well, well, how, how does the world react? What do, what do we need to do to draw people in? There's a compromise of the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ that instead of preaching Christ crucified, we end up teaching biblical life skills. We don't call sin, sin anymore. We don't call for repentance and it's amazing that, that people will say, well, <clears throat> that I'll do whatever it takes to share the gospel. Whatever, whatever manner, that's what I'm going to do. We don't see that in God's word. We don't see Jesus or his disciples. We don't see Jesus saying, I'm going to use any means available to share the gospel. No, it was extremely clear that <laughs> man sinned, you need to repent, uh, and especially after Jesus lived, died, and rose again, and the gospel of, you know, coming before God and repenting and being convicted and asking for his forgiveness. If we, 1 John 1 9 says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us of our sins. That's what we're supposed to preach. Because if we don't, then our breaking the law of an eternal God will give us an eternal punishment. The gospel is extremely clear. Jesus didn't do this friendship evangelism of where, you know, I'm going to spend three or four or five, six years being a friend to somebody while sharing hobbies and da 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 da, all these things, because you don't know when you're going to die. You don't know when they're going to die. And it's not until you come to that situation of where you think, well, I'll w just a, a few more days. You know, we're friends and we're getting along. And then maybe by my example of living, maybe by some form of osmosis, they'll, they'll ask me of why my life is different. Or maybe Jesus will just kind of like uh, ooze on over into them and they'll become saved. But Jesus says that we're supposed to be a witness. The Old Testament says that, you know, the feet of those who bring good news. That's what it's about. To be a witness, to testify. To be a witness is, means to give a verbal uh, testimony of what is right and true, as you would in a court of law. But we're not doing that these days. Rather, we have relinquished our responsibility to individually witness to people and we've handed it over to a pastor. This kind of goes along with the video I did uh, talking about financing the gospel or evangel financing evangelism versus the individual need and requirement to witness. But the funny thing is that we think that we'll pay our little 10% to the church and that that frees us up of the responsibility of having to tell people that they don't have to go to hell. But we don't see that in God's word. So I would be careful about days of prayer because it should be every day. And if you're not witnessing, if it's not in your heart to tell somebody about what God has done for you and to show them the big picture of what can happen if they don't repent and show them the good news that nobody has to go to hell but God provided a way and it's through Jesus Christ. You preach the gospel. Let the Holy Spirit do the convicting on their heart and that's all we do is to, to preach the gospel. That's all we're supposed to do. We're not supposed to go our own ways and to <clears throat> do what we think is right. 
because God's word is extremely clear on what we're supposed to do and there's reasons why we're supposed to do certain things in secret and not before man and not in, in open forums like here on YouTube. Again, I'm not saying that we shouldn't pray together as believers. But I think we just need to really look at God's word because as we're seeing, more and more people are doing what they think is right and it's not going to end up good. So anyway, quick recap of praying, giving, fasting, it's all supposed to be done in secret. And I think the reasons why we're not supposed to do these things in front of men, uh, because there's a possibility of favoritism, partiality, uh, division, uh, like I follow Paul, I follow Apollos, and, and instead we're supposed to be focusing on, on following Christ. And... YouTube days of prayer can end up creating a, well, I'm doing this and you're not one of us. And instead of, of concentrating on preaching Christ and Him crucified, we have now divided up into groups of, well, He speaks eloquently and so I'm with Him. Or, you know, He stutters and, you know, well, yeah, I'm just not feeling it. That's not where we're supposed to focus on. I think the main reason we are supposed to go in our closet and seek God in his face in secret is because <clears throat> we haven't come to a place of where we can not rely on our senses. But we're too influenced by what we see and hear. And that's why God calls us to go in secret before him. And while it might not be a problem in our life uh, to do something like this out in public and we might not make those judgment calls, there's a lot of people who will make those judgment calls. And we've seen it here on YouTube. We've seen it in churches, conferences, supposedly Christian seminars, the whole nine yards, movements. And that's what we need to watch out for. And right along with that, pride and then... After pride comes a fall, where people choose, instead of following the clear standards of what we see in God's Word, we see them choose something a little bit off, a little bit off, and a little bit off, and then the next thing you know, uh, we're not preaching Christ crucified, but we're preaching a different message and a different gospel, and one that where we are influenced by the things around us, we're influenced by the world, rather than being influenced by the renewing of God's word in our heart and in our mind. So we can stay focused and run the race uh, to do God's good works. And it's all for his glory. So that's the reason why I'm not uh, going to be participating in a YouTube day of prayer or any day of prayer. Because it's a daily walk and I'm having problems just with that. And maybe later on, I don't know, but for right now, that's the reason why. Uh, and some things that I think people need to look at when it comes to these day of prayer things. So anyway, something to think about, something to pray about, something to look into God's word and to go before him and seek his face and see what he says. <clears throat>